Okay, this is the third video. In this video, we are going to customize the the custom, <laughs> customizable menu, so my menu. Um, so let me clear the stack first. And F5, all right, and return to my menu. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna replace all six entries on this menu, and in fact, I'm gonna fill in all 18 entries. So there's gonna be a lot of keystrokes here. What I'm gonna do is put the functions that I use the most into this menu. Um, and then this menu is the default menu that shows up when I press the yellow key three times, or when I close all other menus. So um, this is where I put it, wanna put the features that I use the most. So the first location, I'm gonna put that program that we wrote in the previous video into the first F1 location. So to do this, we select assign, which is shift and one, and that's the assign function. And then we select what we're going to assign to the menu. And what I want to assign is a program. And I'll find this program now in the catalog. So the catalog's down here in the lower right corner. So I do shift catalog. And these are the different areas in the catalog, functions, constants, characters, and so on. So programs is on F4. I select this menu. And this is a list of all the programs in the calculator, which there is only one because I deleted everything else. So I select the program that I want. And now it's ready to assign this program to a key in, in the, my menu. So I need to now display my menu. So to do this, I'm gonna press exit and that closed the programs menu. And now I see my menu with a little bit of a modification. You can see there's, there's dots in the four corners of each of the entries. And that tells us that we are now in assignment mode and we can replace what's in that, in that position. So I wanna put this program in position of F1. All right, and now this program will be run anytime I press the F1 key, which is exactly what I want. So let's continue on. In the next location, I want to put a conversion to degrees, which is a trig function. So I select assign, then I select the trig menu with two shifts, and conversion to degrees is on the F1 location. I close this trig menu, and I select F2, and that puts that assignment there. The next one is convert to radians, also a trig function. So I do shift assign, two shifts trig, select to radians, close this menu and assign it to F3. The next one I want is multiple pies. So I do assign, open the trig menu, select multiple pi conversion, close this menu and assign it to F4. The next one I wanna assign is pi on the F5 key. Pi is on the keyboard, it's a shift um, function, but I wanna put it in, the, in my menu because I use it often enough and it'll be right there where I want it without a shift function. So I do assign and then I select pi, which is a shift pi, and then I can just press the F5 key and that assigns pi to that location. And the other one I wanna assign now is the complex function. So uh, before you saw me enter a complex number, I do shift enter to create a complex number. But I do this often enough that I want it in my custom menu. So I do assign, shift assign. Then I select shift complex and I assign it to the F6 position. Now there are six more, uh, 12 more empty positions in this menu and I'm gonna fill them in rather quickly right now um, so that I have all these menus and it doesn't take so long. So the next one I want is a mode function. So I do shift assign, shift mode, and I wanna put this um, rectangular format, exit, and I want to put it in the shift F1 location. And next to it, I want to put degree format. So do shift assign, shift mode, degrees, exit, shift F2. Next to that, I want to put radians. So shift assign, shift mode, radian, exit, shift F3. And then I want to put E to the X, which is on the keyboard. And you'll see the pattern after a while, but shift assign, shift E to the X. And I'm going to put it on shift F4. Next to that, I want the sync function, which is a trig function, I believe. So shift assign, shift trig, and shift F1, exit. And I want that to be shift F5. And then I want clear stack. So 
shift assign, two shifts, stack, clear stack, exit, and shift F6. Okay, now the top row. I want above the rectangular coordinates, the rectangular mode, I want polar mode. So back to mode, so shift assign, shift mode, select polar, exit, two shifts, F1. Next to that, I want the unit vector. So this is a complex number manipulation. So shift assign, two shifts, complex. And where are you? I thought this was where it was. Now I don't see it though. Unit vector. Maybe it's a trig function. So let's go to sh the trig menu. Okay, I don't see it offhand. Um, I forgot where it is, and that's one of the reasons why I want to make a custom menu. So the things that I need are where the, where I think they are. Um, so I'll just look it up in the catalog. So we'll go to the catalog menu. It's a function. It starts with a U, and I'm in alpha, alpha entry mode. So I can press the U key to go to that location in the catalog. And there it is, unit vector. So now I've selected unit vector. I can close all the menus I've opened. I opened a bunch because I was looking around for this until I get back to my menu. Oh, now I saw it there as I went past. And now I do two shifts F2. So I did see it now if I go back to the trig. Yeah, oops, I went to the mode exit. Go back to the trig menu. And this trig menu. No, didn't I just see it? Oh, it's got to be under complex. I'm sorry. There it is, under complex, it's a shift on the F6. So, oh well, I missed it for whatever reason. All right, so closing this, let's go back all the way to my menu so far. The next one I want is conjugate, complex conjugate. This has to be under the complex key. So I do shift assign, shift complex. The conjugate is shift F2. I do exit, two shifts F3. All right, next to that, I want E to the JX. So this should be a trig function, I guess. Shift assign, two shifts, trig, maybe here. Nope, that's another one that I don't remember where it is. Is it under complex? Okay, I'm not gonna look for it. I'm just gonna go to the catalog, find functions, enter the E, go to the E's, and there's E to the IX, that's the one I want. So select it. Close these menus until I get back to my menu. And then two shifts, F4, right above the E to the X. Next one I want is sync pi. So shift assign. This is a trig again, I believe. And trig. Sync pi is a shift, F2. Close these menus. And I want this to be a double shift F5. And then the last one I want is drop X. So this will be a stack operation. So shift assign, shift twice stack, and then drop X and exit, and then two shifts F6. Okay, so that's my custom menu. So it has all the things I use all the time um, or I use frequently, and now I don't have to go looking for them. So you have room for 18 functions that you use most frequently, um, which means you won't have to go hunting for these functions anymore once you put them in my custom menu. So, all right, now the last thing I wanna do then, uh, actually I'm gonna end this video and I'll create a new video where I'm gonna use this custom menu to do some complex number manipulations. So we'll see you in the next video.